Hey everyone, today we're going to look at how to back up a Linux PC to a Synology NAS using rsync. This process is great for ensuring that your Linux PCs are properly being backed up and you can utilize your NAS to store all of your data. rsync is also a really easy to use tool and it ensures that it backs up everything and only completes incremental backups after the initial backup is done, which means that future backups will take significantly less time. Just so you know, as with all of our tutorials, full written instructions are in the description. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to log into DSM, we're going to go to the control panel and our file services, and we're going to ensure that rsync is enabled. It's also important to note down that SSH encryption port because we're going to need it in a future step. Now once that's done, I'm going to go and I'm going to create a backups folder, and I'm going to ensure that my user account has read write access to that folder. Now once that folder is created, I'm going to open it up and I'm going to create a subfolder with my Linux PC's name. Once that's done, the DSM setup is complete, but there's one important thing that we have to check and that's the firewall. So since we'll be using rsync, we have to ensure that that SSH port from earlier is opened. If you're not using the Synology firewall, then you don't have to do this step, but you should really look into setting this up if you're not. If you'd like a tutorial on how to set up the firewall, leave it in the comments and I'll see what I could do. Now once that's done, we're going to head over to our Linux PC and we're going to open Terminal. And at this point, we're going to have to start to construct our rsync command. Now there are a ton of rsync command line parameters that you could use, but I'm going to use a very basic set. But before I run the command for real, I'm going to do a dry run. And you could do that by using the n command line parameter. The other thing that's important to note is that you're going to have to change this command to use your username, IP address, the correct volume and the folder name of your PC. Now when you run this dry run for the first time, you might receive a message stating that the authenticity of this host can't be established. So at that point you'll have to type yes to continue connecting. Once that's done, enter your Linux password if it's needed and the password to the user account that you'll be using to connect to your NAS. The dry run will then finish. Assuming the results were what you were expecting, remove the end parameter and run the command. This will actually write all of the files to your NAS. Now this initial backup is going to take some time, but when it's done, you'll be able to navigate over to your NAS and see that all of the files were created in that one folder. At this point, any future backups will be significantly quicker since they're only incremental. Now the process that we just did is fully manual, so you have to actually run this command every time you want to back up your Linux PC to your NAS. But if you're looking for an automated way to do it, leave a comment and I'll create a tutorial as soon as I can. That wraps up the video for today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe. Thank you.